Hey gang, welcome to your ninth OAuth tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about the Passport callback function. Okay, so in the last tutorial we set it up so that Passport now is taking control when a user goes to forward slash auth forward slash Google and it interacts with Google, redirects them to this permission screen right here. So I can log in with an account and when I do that, I get called back to the redirect URI, which is at forward slash auth, forward slash Google, forward slash redirect, and we get this code right here. So I said in the last tutorial that when this happens, that this right here wasn't technically true. We don't get information when we come back to this redirect URI. So we don't have that information yet. We just have this code in the query parameter in the URL, right? So this code then allows Passport to go out and get the information from the profile for us. So this diagram I've just updated and it looks something a bit more like this now. So after Passport takes control here, when it goes to forward slash auth forward slash Google, when a user clicks that they want to um, sign up with Google or sign in with Google, then we go to the consent screen, which we did do. We clicked on sign in with the Net Ninja or whoever you may be to grant permission. And we go back to the redirect URI with the code in a query parameter at the top, right? The query string. So now we have that code and we're in this callback URI, which is forward slash auth, forward slash Google, forward slash redirect. We can then tell Passport in this callback or redirect URI that we then want to interact with Google and exchange the code for some profile information. So we can tell Passport in this route right here to do that, to go out and grab that. And we're going to do that in a second. Then once it's got that information, it comes back. And what happens when it gets the information is it fires the passport callback function. All right. So this is kind of the route it's taking now. I've changed this a little bit. So we're going to auth Google. Then we're granting permission, coming to the callback route or the redirect URI. Then we're grabbing that code that comes with it, exchanging that for profile information using Passport. It comes back with the profile information and fires the Passport callback function. And remember, that Passport callback function is right here. So this is the thing that fires when it comes back with the actual information about the profile. But first of all, we need to tell Passport to take this code and exchange it for the profile information, right? And we do that in the callback URI right down here. So remember, it's coming back here at the end when we have that code. That's where it's redirecting to. And it's bringing that code with it, right? So before this function fires right here, what we need to do is pass in passport.authenticate again. So I'll say passport.authenticate. And inside, we're using Google again. And then we place a comma. So that's an extra piece of middleware in this route. So when they first get redirected to this route, before it sends this message and fires this function, so before we see this, it fires passport.authenticate Google. Now this is a little bit confusing because right here we already fired that when we want to sign in. So what's the difference? Well the difference is that this time around we have a code in the URL right here, right? So passport can see that we have that code now. And instead of redirecting us to the consent screen again, like it did over here, it sees the code. So it says, okay, well, this person's already been to the consent screen. Now, obviously what the developer wants me to do is take the code that it's come back with and exchange that code for profile information. So it's gonna go out to Google on the fly and exchange that code. Say, look, I have this code. This user said we can authenticate them using their Google profile. So I'm here with my code to get their profile information. So it grabs that and it comes back. And then what happens before this fires right here, before we even get to this, comes back with the profile information. And let's just save this. This callback function is fired, right? Right here. So that marries up with this diagram. We're granting permission. We go to the redirect, uh, redirect URI. Then that piece of middleware where it says passport.authenticate is inside this redirect URI, this handler. And it goes out, grabs the info, comes back, and about this point here, fires the passport callback function, right? Fires that first before it executes 
the rest of this stuff right here. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is fire this callback function. So first of all, let's just log something to the console and see what happens. We'll say console.log and we'll say uh, passport callback function fired. Okay, so let's save this and check this out in the browser. I'm just going to go back one so we can authenticate again. And if we see in the browser, we go right to the bottom down here. You see, we're now listening for requests. So let's keep that open. And I'm going to go and say, I want to authenticate with the Net Ninja. So we do that and we're going back and we can see right here the passport callback function fired. So we're firing this function right here now, right? It's gone out, it's grabbed the data right here. It's done this, gone out, exchanged that code, grabbed the data, and it's fired this callback function. But if you look at this, it's kind of hanging there. It's not doing anything. So it's done that, it's fired the callback function, but at the minute, it's not got onto this bit, right? We're not sending a response to the browser. So the callback function, what does that do? Well, it takes in a number of parameters, right? And the first parameter is the access token. So we're just going to fill these out one at a time. So I'll say access token. The second is going to be a refresh token. And I'll tell you what these are in a minute. The third one is going to be the profile information that we bring back. And the last one is going to be a function called done. All right. So first of all, the access token. This is a token that we receive from Google so that if we want to go back and say alter the user's profile, you know, go into their mailbox, read their emails. We can use the access token to do that because we've got it from Google, right? And initially we said that we wanted to do that and the user granted us permission. Now we've not done that in this case, so we don't really need the access token, but that's what it's for. The refresh token is to kind of refresh the access token because this expires after a certain amount of time. So that's what this is for. And again, we're not really going to be using these two in this tutorial. However, this thing right here, this profile, this is the information that Passport comes back with when it takes that code to Google. Remember that code that we get back? It takes that code to Google and it brings back the profile information. So this is what it's bringing back right here. OK, and this is a function called done, which we need to call when we're done with this callback function. So for now, let's just log out the profile information that it brings back. I'll say console.log and we'll log out the profile. All right, so save that. Let's go back now and bring open our um, console there. Let's sign in with the NetNinja again. And this time we can see it's brought back the profile and we're logging that to the console. So we can see all kinds of information in this profile. We can see a unique ID. So that's the Google ID associated with this profile. Uh, the display name. Uh, the name, family name, etc. any photos associated with it, gender, the provider. And we also get a JSON object down here with more information as well, such as the nickname, etc. OK, so it's bringing back all that profile information now to our application and we're logging it here in the callback function. So I hope this kind of all makes sense in terms of where we are at the minute. Yeah, it's hanging at the minute and we're going to sort that out over the next couple of tutorials. But I hope you understand where we roughly are in the whole kind of process. So just a dead quick refresher. We've said we want to sign in with Google. We go to this forward slash auth forward slash Google handler. We hand it over to Passport that says, OK, you want to sign in with Google. We'll send you to the Google permission screen. We grant it permission. Comes back to the redi uh, redirect URI with the code. We call passport.authenticate again. It sees that we have a code in the URL and it says, OK, I've got the code. I'm going to exchange that for profile info. So it interacts with Google with that code, brings back the profile info. Then we fire the passport callback function with that profile information, which is where we are up to so far. So I guess the next step is to take that profile information and to do something with it in our application. And we're going to take a look at that over the next few videos.